How to use Asana for social media management. Hey everyone, welcome. We hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll be talking about the platform Asana and how to actually use it for your social media management. So basically, this is going to be for the people who want to, you know, to actually do social media management and they want a free tool uh, that is going to help them with their tasks. It's going to be very helpful. It's going to provide you with many different uh, tools and equipments to actually um, enable you to just be more organized with your work and just managing your social media posts and uh, creations and all those things. It's going to be in one place, one workspace, and you can actually collaborate with your team members. This way you can actually be more organized yourself and your team members. Now, I did mention it is for free. Now, you can actually start for free and you do have the personal plan here, which is going to be completely for free forever. Uh, and you'll be getting a lot of good uh, value out of it. You can see you can collaborate with up to 10 teammates with the free plan, which is actually very, very nice. You have unlimited tasks, projects, messages, and um, a lot more. And if you actually need more, you can just upgrade to the starter plan or advanced plan, which is going to be per user per month okay so at the time being you can just go ahead test things out for the personal or not even just test out you can actually use the personal indefinitely if you actually want to uh, unless you actually need to upgrade if you are a, you know a more uh, bigger business then you may want to upgrade but you can actually use this and it's going to be very useful so i'm going to show you exactly how, how you can set things up uh, in asana for your social media management so to get started you will need to go to asana.com uh, and if you want to check out the pricing feel free to just click on pricing here if you want to check out solutions and futures you can also do them in here but we are going to be focused on actually getting started so just click on get started on the top right and it's not going to require a credit card or anything it's completely for free unless you want to upgrade so just click on get started once you are ready and you'll be able to just simply sign up to the platform. You can just sign up with your Google, which is going to be a lot easier. Or you can just enter your email account and it's going to be um, working properly for yourself. So I'm just going to log in and get um, in the actual dashboard and I will see you in there. Okay, great. So I've just logged into my account and now I do have some random stuff here as well because, you know, I used to work on this account for similar videos but you should find it to be empty or you will be able or they, once you actually sign up they will allow you to create your first project uh, but regardless i will show you actually how to create your project and how to get started basically you have your home your tasks inbox and so much more here but our focus here is actually to create your first project and then have tasks and assignees and all of those things in one project so you will need to navigate to the obviously dashboard and just go to projects where you can just go ahead and click on new project or portfolio. I'm just going to click on that and create a new project. Now here you can actually go ahead and start a blank project, use a template or impro uh, import a spreadsheet, which is going to also help. Um, if you're just getting started, I highly recommend that you actually use a template. And I believe there's actually a template especially or exactly for uh, social media management. So if we just go ahead and search for it. Mm, I believe you can actually find it. I'm just going to try to search it up. And if I actually end up finding it, I will show you. If not, then we can just create one from scratch. It doesn't really matter too much. Okay, so I didn't really find a proper one for social media itself, but you can use actually any templates here that already exists for example event planning uh, and actually you can use the boards and stuff if you want to but for the sake of this i will just go ahead and actually start a blank project just to show you even if you don't really find a proper template you can go ahead and feel free to create your own it doesn't really matter to find a proper template so just go ahead click on a blank or find an, a proper template that you want to use and then you just give it a name so i will just give it um social media management okay and then uh, the privacy is going to be my workspace if you have a different uh, works uh, i mean the privacy you can just make it uh, private 
uh, to yourself only, or your workspace can actually, you know, people in your workspace can work on it as well, or private to members if you have the starter plans. Now, the default view is going to be very important for our uh, sort of planning and actually management. I prefer to go for the board view when it comes to social media management. It's just going to be much easier for us to check the progress for each step that we are going to be taking. So we can just have it this view, but you can feel free to actually use any other view that you like. List uh, or calendar, you can feel free to do them. Timeline, I believe you actually need to use or have the start of future, uh, start plan. So I'm just going to stick with the board and click on create project. And now simply we have our buckets here. So we have to do in progress, complete and uh, more sections if you want. You can add your uh, team members in this um, space here. You can just add them from my workspace, add members, and you can just, you know, allow them to work on the social media management project. Now, what you would want to do usually, you would want to rename these buckets to something that is going to be related to your social media management. Um, like, for example, um, ideas, uh maybe let's just do content creation uh let's just do uh or or under review maybe approved and then we would want to add uh awaiting publish so here we have uh, our new buckets here. We have the bucket list for each step. We have the ideas here. We're going to have a list of the ideas here. Uh, content creation here where you can just go ahead and actually just assign it to a specific person and add all the descriptions that you need for it. Under review is going to be uh, once the actual thing is done from the content creation, you yourself or somebody else is going to review the actual product and be able to approve it or not if not then it's just going to go back to content creation and so on if it is approved then it's just going to wait here and then it's going to move to the next step which is going to be awaiting publish where you can actually go ahead and schedule a public uh publish date for the actual um whatever that is you're actually going to be working on so here you can just go ahead and start with task one so we can just go ahead and actually give it a name um youtube video number one for example i'm really not the best with the creative ideas here but you have your um actual task uh name and title you can just go ahead and assign it to a person but under ideas usually it's not going to be assigned yet due dates and stuff are also going to be empty for the time being so here we can just go ahead and add subtasks if you want, if you actually want to do that um, and more stuff here if you want to actually do uh, any of those. We have also automations in Asana, but I'm not really going to dive deep into the automation side of things uh, because it, it would take a little bit of time to show you exactly what you need to do. But for the time being, this should work. So we have this. And then, you know, we have the ideas. If you want to work on this one, you can just go ahead and move it to the content creation, for example. And now you'd want to obviously take a deeper look into the actual idea, give it uh, an actual assignee now and give it a due date. So you would want to, you know, for example, you want it to do uh, 28th. Uh, you can just select this, for, for example, and you can just go ahead and actually add descriptions to maybe give some help, advice, or tips for creating this actual task. Um, and if you want to add more uh, subtasks, you can also feel free to do so. And now that this is, you know, done here, if it's marked as complete, it's going to just go ahead and move on to the under review. Here under review is going to be basically uh, shown for the people who is going to be, uh, you know, reviewing the actual product. If they like it, they can just go ahead, move it to the approved. And then, you know, at the end of the journey, it's just going to be a waiting for publish. And you can just go ahead and set up the proper date for that. And with this, you can just play around with this 
basic very very basic idea of asana now there's again a lot more that you can actually work with when it comes to asana like uh, automations and um you know things like you can just do a lot of complex stuff which is going to end up helping you quite a lot when it comes to your social media management but this uh i hope was a i know it was a basic tutorial but hopefully it was an insightful one for you and i hope that you have liked this video and thanks for watching